So we're about to start work on a 235i, uh, which is a single day booking today. Basically the car's having a, well, similar to like a new car prep, where we just have to do the machine work. There's no sealants going on this one. There's a couple of marks where we might have to wet sand, which we've already discussed with the customer. It's quite a forgiving colour, in all honesty. It's not actually bad being like a dark grey. Um, there is swirls that are really noticeable on the boot. I'll try and get those on camera. The bonnet actually looks pretty good. So we're gonna skim the full car, give it a full sort of uh, detail across every panel just so it matches and it's quite refreshed. But we're gonna be focusing on some of the bigger areas. There's a few things I've noticed that I wanna do if I get time. Um, they're not booked in for it, but where we open the boot, there's quite a lot of dirt still hidden in the grooves and I really wanna try and get that out inside the doors and then we're going to be doing an interior valet on it because this car is coming up for sale uh, anybody interested in a low mileage 235i it really has been looked after we'll try and get you the details of the customer if you message us at the end of the video or put a comment on uh, and i say for now we'll just try and get you some videos of sort of the marks that we can find in it but there isn't a great deal in all fairness So I don't know if you can actually see it on the camera, um, I'm hoping you can, but it, this mark here is probably about 40 or 50 little scratches. Honestly, not sure what's caused it, neither does a customer, but that's the bit we're gonna be trying to work on. Um, that is gonna have to be wet sanded, and we're gonna see if it's gonna give us any play at all. It's to the nail, so you can feel it. Um, I've got a feeling we'll get a majority of it out, but it's just trial and error with something like that is the reality. So we're gonna have a work on that, and we've got a couple of little marks on the back, and then we're gonna work on the boot as well. So anyone who knows us that Inspired, um, also know we don't bullshit, basically we don't try and make marks disappear on camera and get fancy angles. The reality is this mark is still here. It's not gonna come out anymore because it's actually into the clear coat, or sorry, into the base. Uh, it's through the clear coat, but you know what? I'm struggling to find it. I'm having a look, it's basically here. So I'll try and get it on camera. Um, and it's not obvious, it's really not something you're gonna see. I don't think you'll see it at all outside but I'm not gonna say it's gone and lie about it because that's the one thing we definitely don't do here. So I will try and get that on camera now for you. 